This is Veronica D'Angelo. I've been trying to reach my parents. Yes. But I've called three times. Did you give them my other messages? I know that, but I don't think they got them. Yes, I would. Tell them to call me and tell them it's urgent. Ever heard of a little privacy? Like when you read my diary? This is still my room. It's not my problem you don't have anywhere else to go. Until your parents pick you up. You stay on your side and I'll stay on mine. Got it? Fine. Thank you for the ride, Mrs. Atwood. Bye, girls. You are so fake. You're the one pretending to be everyone's best friend and then writing about them behind their back. this morning fine I gather sharing the same house for a week hasn't brought you any closer I think my mother enjoys torturing me but maybe she wanted you to think what it would be like to walk in Veronica's shoes imagine if you were an only child I wish no what I meant was what if your parents decided to go on vacation and leave you alone with the hired help I bet you'd feel pretty lonely would be kind of weird. And your mum told me that Veronica's parents didn't even bring her to the door when they dropped her off. And they haven't called once to see how she's doing. I know. And you've made it pretty clear there's no room in your house for her or in your friendship with the saddle club. Not very comfortable shoes to walk in, are they? You have to get better right now. I don't care if you have strep throat. Anything's better than staying with Lisa. Wait, don't go. Christy... She's not feeling better, huh? Sorry to disappoint you, but you're stuck with me. Veronica! Look, I'm sorry we haven't been getting along, okay? I don't like you. You don't like me. Why would we get along? I know. But I guess I kind of know how you feel. I mean, my two best friends aren't speaking to me right now, and I don't have anyone to talk to. I never asked to be dumped at your house for a week. And you and your precious little saddle clubs... I know. We totally left you out. Sorry. Yeah, well, it was really rude. <sighs> but I guess I shouldn't have read your diary. But you shouldn't have left it lying around for me to read. Doesn't matter now. Carol and Stevie will never talk to me again. They probably wouldn't have freaked out so much if they'd seen all that sappy stuff you wrote about them. <laughs> <laughs> 